Hello everyone, happy Wednesday, God bless you. Thank you for joining me for the prayer therapy session for today. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you to all of you who are joining us on the prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're not yet joining us, I'm not sure what you're waiting for. Come on, come join us on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I know as you join us, your lives will be transformed. You'll be healed, delivered, and set free in the name of Jesus. Today, I have brought you the prayer therapy, uh, and we are praying powerful prayers, fire prayers of financial breakthrough today. Uh, the book of Matthew chapter 18 from verse 18 says, I assure you, and this was Jesus speaking, and most solemn, solemnly say to you, whatever you bind, meaning whatever you forbid, declare to be improper and unlawful on earth shall be already been bound in heaven. And whatever you lose, meaning whatever you permit, whatever you declare lawful on earth shall have already been loosed in heaven. Verse 19 says, again, I say to you that if two believers on earth agree, that is, are of one mind in harmony about anything that they ask within the will of God, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. So if a believer refuses to forbid lack, if you refuse to forbid poverty or declare it to be improper and unlawful in your life, then it stays. It stays and it takes over that person's life. So we need to pray. This is why we must learn to pray based on the word of God and pray the word of God back to him. Amen. So a knowledgeable Christian will be a praying Christian. A praying Christian is a powerful Christian. And this is why the devil fights any chance for you to, to, to get knowledge. It fights you reading the word of God. It fights you listening to the word of God. It fights you joining prayer um, uh, prayer line meetings or, or prayer uh, uh, prayer warrior meeting in your church. You tell yourself, oh, but I'm not a prayer warrior. I, I don't know how to pray. This is why he does that. He, he tries to prevent some people watching videos just like this. They spend hours and hours watching junk, but they don't watch anything that brings them knowledge, that brings illumination to their mind. So they're dying because of lack of knowledge. That's why the Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. And this is the, the tactic of the enemy to get us Christians to not know our right. If you don't know your right, then you can't forbid nothing. <laughs> you don't know your right, then you can't declare anything to be improper and unlawful. You have to know the law in order for you to say this is unlawful, correct? My God is speaking to somebody today. So without you knowing what is lawful, how can you declare something unlawful? My God, this is very important. And the session has begun. So as we pray, you will see the running thread in the word of God that must be obeyed, that must be fulfilled for financial breakthrough, for prosperity to be a reality in a believer's life. And I pray that your spirit is open today, that you're not just coming here to another video and praying without faith and praying without wanting to actually get knowledge. Deuteronomy chapter eight from verse 18. But before then, Father, we thank you. We thank you for this prayer session. We thank you. We thank you for this prayer therapy session. We thank you for the people that are under the sound of my voice now. Thank you for drawing your people. That as I lift you up, you are drawing all men unto yourself. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor. I thank you for your presence even now. I thank you because as we pray, as we ask, we will receive. As we knock, the door will be open. As we seek, we will find. Thank you for your mercy, oh God. We ask for forgiveness of every sin that will hinder the answers to our prayers. Father, forgive us, cleanse us, purify us, sanctify us, soul, body, and spirit. Renew our right spirit within us. In the name of Jesus, give us a spirit that repels sin, a spirit that sin repel. Give us the grace to flee every appearance of evil. Give us the grace to resist the devil until he flee from us. In the name of Jesus. And as we 
pray today we remember Ukraine. We remember Europe. We remember the nations of the world. We ask, Lord, that you will intervene, that there will be peace all over the world. We ask, Lord, that you will stay the hand of evil in the name of Jesus, that evil will slay the wicked, and even the wickedness of the wicked, oh, it will come to an end in the name of Jesus. We pray your covering over all of the nations of the world. We ask, Lord, that your peace will reign once again. We ask that you quicken prayer warriors, you quicken your intercessors, you quicken your watchmen to take their rightful position, their rightful place in prayer. That the end of this evil may be stayed. That you, oh God, would take absolute glory, absolute glory, absolute glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. If you have not yet watched the prophetic word from Sunday, it is a prophetic word, a prophetic warning with instruction from the Lord. I pray that you will get an opportunity after this video to watch that and make sure that you heed the call of God. Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18. The Bible says, But remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you the ability to produce wealth and so confirms His covenant, which He, saw, which he swore to your ancestors, just as it is today. Which means that that covenant still stands. It still stands. And when the Bible says, remember the Lord your God, it means keep him at the forefront of your heart. Make him your priority. So as you do so today, I pray in the name of Jesus. May the Lord fulfill this covenant of wealth to you in the mighty name of Jesus. May you experience financial breakthrough even in this month of March 2022 in the name of Jesus. Even throughout this year 2022 and even all the days of your life in the name of Jesus. Riches can finish, but wealth is a gift that keeps on given. I decree the wealth of God upon you in the name of Jesus. May God give you innovative ideas. Oh, may he give you divine creativity. May he give you pioneering ideas that will produce transgenerational wealth in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Spirit of the living God. Job 22 and verse 21 says, submit to God and be at peace with him. In this way, prosperity will come Come to you. I pray for you as you submit yourself to God and seek him with all of your heart and might. May prosperity locate you in the name of Jesus. May you experience financial breakthrough like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. May every yoke of poverty over your life be broken in the name of Jesus. May every yoke of lack in your life be broken in the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy 28 and from verse 11 says the Lord will grant you abundant prosperity in the fruit of your womb, the young of your livestock and the crops of your ground in the land he swore to your ancestors to give you the Lord will open the heavens my God, the storehouse of his bounty to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands you will lend even to many nations and will borrow from none, I pray over you you. May you experience hope in heaven in this season in the name of Jesus. May the heavens over you be open for abundance in the name of Jesus. May it be open for overflow of God's blessings in the name of Jesus. May you lend even to many nations and not borrow any longer in the name of Jesus. May your days of been in debt. Come to an end in the name of Jesus. Oh, for as many as are in debt, I pray that you will experience the miracle of debt cancellation this year in the mighty name of Jesus. May you experience the miracle of debt cancellation this year in the mighty name of Jesus. May your debt be forgiven in the name of Jesus. Receive student loan forgiveness. Receive credit card forgiveness. May your debt be paid for divinely this year 2022 in the name of Jesus. Yabo Shataya. Jesus, Jesus, even mortgage loans being paid. Mortgage loans being paid. Mortgage loans being paid off. In the mighty name of Jesus, may heaven give you its abundant provision. Kayabo Soto. Remind in the bush. In 
this season in the name of Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter 9 from verse 10 says, Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. My God, oh, you will be enriched in every air and every way so that you can be generous on every occasion and your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. Rebasukatai, may this be your portion and your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. May you have an abundance and never lack in the name of Jesus. May the Lord, a God of enlargement, enlarge your coast, increase your territory, enlarge your territory in this season in the name of Jesus. Psalm 34 and verse 10 says, the young lions lack and they suffer hunger. But those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. My God, my God, even as you seek the Lord in this season like never before, may you not lack any good thing in the name of Jesus. Yabo Shataya. The Lord respect his word so much he exalted above his name. Rahuli Bokori Mayindele Boshai decree over you that as God has spoken, this is his word. Rabasukataya. As you seek him like never never before as you seek him as you call upon his name may you never lack any good thing in the name of Jesus may you never lack any good thing in the name of Jesus may the Lord supply all of your need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus oh thank you blessed redeemer Thank you, blessed Holy Spirit. We give you praise. We give you praise. As many as join their faith in this prayer, Father, let them testify. I pray that in this season you will advance them in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, you will enlarge their coast in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, let them be fruitful. Let them be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Give them divine speed and momentum in every area of their lives in the name of Jesus. I decree over you today every good thing you lay your hands upon to do may it prosper in the name of Jesus Ayah. may you have abundant testimony of financial breakthrough of breakthrough in all areas of your life even this month and this year in the name of Jesus and may you return all the glory back to Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Holy Spirit. We thank you for having answered. For you are the God who answers by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. Once again, thank you for joining me for this prayer therapy session. I pray that this has blessed you. And if it has, make sure that you subscribe. Yeah, press that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you share it. And make sure you leave me your comments. Um, and I pray that I will see you on the prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. God bless you. Have a wonderful and a blessed rest of your week.